Have you been looking for binoculars for bird watching and have you come across these? Well, even if you haven't, you're likely to. Hi folks, I'm Shashank Birla, a naturalist, photojournalist and bird watcher and I'm here today to talk about these binoculars, the Celestron Outland X 10 into 42. First up, a confession. We have been using these binoculars on our guided safari tours to India's national parks and tiger reserves and we ensure that each guest gets this binocular so that they can see wildlife clearly. But here today, I want to actually do a review of this product. Uh, of course, I'll tell you why we actually chose these binoculars. But I'm also going to be talking about the limitations uh, of taking binoculars like these as well. So stay tuned. Now, I want to tell you all the first reason why we actually prefer taking these binoculars. Um, these are among the most widely available branded roof prism binoculars that you can actually get here in India in today's market. Uh, I'm talking about across India because uh, many this, these binoculars have been listed on many online retailers as well. Uh, so it's not limited to any specific location. You can get this delivered through most of India. Uh, and that's one of the major reasons we actually chose this uh, because it has continued to remain consistently available online at least since I've seen the last two to three years I've nearly always seen these binoculars available online otherwise when you actually search for some of these binoculars online many of the branded ones you'll often see that they are unavailable and because of that uh, when the binoculars are in limited availability the price tends to fluctuate quite a bit uh, but because these binoculars have been consistently available you do get them within a certain price range when it's online of course it does fluctuate a little bit even the Celestron Outland X uh, but that's the reason uh, we firstly chose these binoculars uh, we needed quite a few of them and we needed it for our guests so because these were widely available uh, that's one of the reasons we actually chose them as I mentioned, this is a roof prism binocular uh, and the specification, which is the magnification is 10x uh, and the size of the objective lens or the diameter of the objective lens is 42. So that's the specification, 10 into 42. In case you're unfamiliar with both these terms, roof prism and 10 into 42, you can check out this previous video as well where I've explained these terminologies. So you'll get a better understanding of, you know, why we chose these binoculars. Now the first thing I'm actually going to be talking about is the weight of these binoculars and it is such a relief uh, because it just weighs in a little over 600 grams. So very very light can be easily carried for long durations in the field. You can just you know put this around your neck and you can comfortably wear it for a long duration. It's not going to add a lot of weight to your neck until it's until and unless it's going to be about five six hours of birding that you're going to be doing. But uh, apart from that this is very very comfortable to use from a weight perspective. Next, I'll come to the make of these binoculars. So this is made from a polycarbonate body, uh, fairly tough and most importantly, it's smooth, easy to hold and grip for long periods of time. Uh, apart from that, these particular optics are actually made from bark 4 prisms. Uh, now that's a type of high density glass design and that is pretty much industry standard for these uh, range of binoculars. So you are definitely uh, not falling short there. Uh, that's something definitely to go with in this particular range. Apart from that as well, these binoculars are fog proof. Uh, they are also water resistant as well or waterproof, you can say. I've tested these in conditions where, you know, it's been foggy, misty, and I've also used them, used them in conditions where there has been rain as well. Absolutely fine. Just ensure that you give them a quick wipe and they're good to go. Apart from that, you can check out uh, these rubber eye caps as well. Fairly easy to just, you know, remove. All you'd have to do is just pop them off, basically. And even the one behind, all you have to do is just remove this particular uh, lens cap as well, and you're good to go. Fairly easy to use as well. In fact, you can attach it to your strap uh, so that, you know, you don't lose it. Uh, but, and the front, of course, stays fixed on. So all you need to do is actually just put it back and you can just safely conceal these binoculars back into your pack. A few other features that actually stand out in these binoculars. One is definitely this focus dial, just about perfect uh, because it is neither too tight nor too loose, just the right amount, super smooth. All you have to do is just put it to your eye and just, you know, you can even do tiny alterations in this. It's nice, very, very intuitive. I really like the focus dial. Uh, apart from that as well, uh, like many other roof prism binoculars, this can be adjusted. 
to your specific eye and nose structure so you know however you are comfortable you can adjust these binoculars uh, and the third thing that i want to look at in terms of its usability are its eye cups now they basically twist up as well this i recommend when you're actually not going to be wearing spectacles if you are wearing spectacles then just keep them twisted in all right so that's another useful feature in these binoculars uh, now we come to the crux of it or the heart of the matter, the optics or the image quality that you get in these binoculars with respect to bird watching. Uh, so, I'm, like I mentioned, these are bark for prisms. So, it's already got an industry grade uh, glass design that is already there, the roof, the prism that is actually in these binoculars. So, in that sense, you're set from the uh, glass, so to speak. Uh, the second thing that uh, actually contributes a lot to the image quality is coating. Uh, I've again talked about that in the previous video, but these binoculars are completely multi coated. So, I've even that as a tick mark there um, and uh, what I'd like to share here about the usability in the field and what I've felt about the image quality in the field when I've actually seen birds using these binoculars um, in good lighting conditions even when the light is a little bit less these binoculars do a pretty good job uh, you will be able to see the colors on the bird the features that you need for identification as well uh, even for some of the smaller birds I think this has done a pretty reasonable job but it yes uh, it does fall a little bit short when the light conditions are a little more challenging uh, especially if the subject is backlit uh, that means the subject is against the light or standing against the sun uh, this will not here you know really allow you a lot of detail on that bird uh, so it's going to kind of you know fall a little short there Apart from that, you might notice a little bit of purple fringing as well, uh, especially if it's very, very bright. Uh, so that is something else that I've noticed. Uh, and yes, when the light conditions are very, very low, it's dark, late evening or very early in the morning when the sun is just about to come. Uh, yes, it may not exactly give you the results that you're looking for. Uh, but what I want to emphasize here is in this particular range of binoculars that you're looking for, this is to be expected. Uh, in fact, that's why you tend to spend more and more uh, on, you know, better and better binoculars as you go ahead. Uh, so that is something you should actually expect in these binoculars. With respect to the binoculars that I've used in this particular price range, when I compare it to its peers, um, I would put this somewhere in the upper quadrant, basically, where uh, it's definitely not right at the top uh, because there are a few foreign and international brands that are out there that may do a little better than these binoculars but by the way those binoculars are not easily available in india uh, you often have to arrange those through friends or something like that uh, but among the binoculars that you get here which are locally available in india i think this uh, does a pretty good job and would definitely be one of the top ones in this range uh, so like i said based on this all round sort of you know uh, performance that i have to look at for a binocular in this this particular price range um, i think this gives good optic quality and good image quality and you should have the right expectations when you buy these binoculars uh, another thing I'd of course just briefly like to touch upon is this neck strap. Uh, this actually comes in with this particular binocular set. You get a cleaning cloth as well. Uh, one little thing I felt about these neck straps is that they are not very comfortable, uh, especially in hot and humid conditions when it gets a little sticky. Uh, and these neck straps, this particular material can get a little uncomfortable around your neck uh, for very long durations is when I'm talking about. So uh, going forward, of course, when you get these binoculars, you you can use these neck straps uh, but going forward you may look to actually get a third party uh, neck strap alternatively a binocular vest so that it takes the strain of your neck another thing that i want to talk about with these binoculars is the uh, digi scoping aspect of it uh, now you can use these binoculars for photography as well uh, in case you want to attach this to a tripod there's a screw mount here where you see the logo the orange logo this you can just kind of you know loosen and take it out and then attach it to a tripod and then you need a third party adapter which can uh, attach your mobile phone or your camera uh, to the eyepiece of these binoculars and then you can safely use it for photography as well so in case you are into uh, digiscoping and photography you can use these binoculars for that as well now another thing that i'm sure you're interested to know about is the price of these binoculars uh, and the price range i've seen for these particular binoculars seems to vary from the 8000 inr range going up to 11000 inr uh, it can go a little above that or even a little below that when i 
I've checked these prices online and this seems to be largely dictated by availability of these binoculars. Another thing that you should look at uh, with regards to the pricing of these binoculars is the exact specifications. Now this is the Celestron Outland X 10 into 42. In fact, in the Celestron Outland X series, there are a few more models which are also available. I have written an article where I've talked about the differences with these particular models, what are the advantages and disadvantages when you use different specifications of these models that are available in this series. However, keep in mind that you use those binoculars that I've talked about in that article and not the other models which are also in the series because they are not as suitable for bird watching. All these models that I've talked about do come with limited lifetime warranty as well. Uh, so there's some limitations. You can read the warranty policy on what all this basically covers. Uh, but as long as you take these binoculars from authorized dealers, there will be warranty applicable on it. But ensure that you're doing it through online channels which are also authorized. Usually, even if you get them on sites like Amazon and Flipkart, you will see a warranty policy icon also mentioned in some of these models. Now, I've never had the opportunity to actually return these binoculars. Uh, but of course, what I've seen in the warranty policy is that you need to return them back through authorized dealers only. Only then will the warranty be applicable. One way you can tell that you're getting this product from authorized sources is ensuring that you get everything that comes in the box along with it. Now, I'm just going to quickly share that you get this particular binocular case. Uh, you get, of course, the binoculars themselves along with this particular neck strap. Uh, and you also get this particular cleaning cloth as well uh, with these binoculars. So ensure that you have all of these things when you actually order these binoculars. In summary, these are really nice binoculars to go with. Uh, I've been very, very happy with them uh, when we've been using them on our safari tours. Uh, they have been giving me, our guests on safari as well, really nice views of wildlife and especially of birds. They can really appreciate the details and the colors on the birds as well. So I have no hesitation recommending these binoculars. Uh, these are really good binoculars to get in case they are your first binocular for bird watching and also in case you are upgrading to roof prism binoculars from the heavier poro prism binoculars that are actually there. Um, it, that is in case your budget is restricted. The additional note that I would like to share is that uh, if bird watching becomes a consistent hobby for you over time, say you've been doing this at least for approximately 3-4 years or so, then yes, you may look to upgrade from these particular binoculars uh, but of course the price range will then increase as well so like i mentioned a good binocular to start with uh, you can safely take this and like i mentioned it's widely available so i think you should have no problem in actually getting these binoculars online as well i wish you the best for your bird watching journey uh, and in case there are any queries that you guys have with regard to these binoculars or using them in the field do drop them in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video enjoyed this review and found it of value please do subscribe to our channel we'll really appreciate the same Thank you and take care.